students, or ex-students of Reddit, what are your study pro tips? I've gotten degrees in the sciences as well as the humanities and I could probably write a whole book about this but, but, there is one tip that I think is easily the most important. Take time before class when you're not rushed and carefully do your reading. It makes the lecture just shuffle into your brain and lets you spend less time taking useless definition clarification notes and gives you more time to take reflective holistic notes. Most people don't do this because they are procrastinators. But if you can force yourself to get into this habit you will do much better in school. Think of it this way. You have to do the reading no matter what. That's not an option if you want to do well. So you might as well get the most you can out of it by doing it early and relaxed instead of skimming through it at 2am the night before. As a professional student who has spent over 8 years in post high school academic environments, I can say I agree 100% that this is the best advice given and here. Go ahead and upvote this. Go the frick to sleep. Forget all nighters. Seriously. Your brain can't process all that information if it doesn't get any rest, especially before the night before your exam. Be in control of your time. Stop studying in time. Sleep and wake up at a respectable hour. If you haven't got time to study everything, at least read it once or twice. You might remember more than you might think if you're well rested. Go to your freaking classes. This is more a desperation act and a bit weird but I promise it works. What you will need, minus two water bottles, all your study materials, a pair of headphones, and something to listen to music with, and an open mind. 1. Go to your library if it is finals week, or crowded, even better. 2. Go use the restroom and fill up your water bottle. 3. Go to a crowded part of the library with some good classical music and headphones. 4. Take the extra bottle of water and pour it all over your lap. 5. Now it looks like you peed yourself, and you won't be going anywhere for a while with the risk of embarrassment. 6. No more excuses of, maybe if I change spots, or I'll just go meet up with so and so. 7. Ace that test and become absolutely successful. Holy crap this is brilliant. The simplest technique I can give, just go ahead and start. Starting is the biggest obstacle. Once you're in the middle of the work it's not so bad. I am in the middle of an essay. It is pretty bad. Highlight your books and notes. Pink for the topic. Green for the subtropic. Yellow for the details. Blue for likely exam question material. Some books now highlight the important texts themselves. I hate those books. P.S. I'm a doctor now. Everything is highlighted in my brain according to organ systems. The subtropics are so green already. It may sound stupid and possibly borderline nonsensical, but give yourself a reward at an interval. An example that I did was a pizza slice for every 45 minutes of productive work. 8 slices of pizza in one box equals a lot of work done. It has worked for me in the past during all nighters, and many pizza places are open really late. That's a good idea. You'll just keep hammering out A's until your triple bypass in 3 weeks. As a psych major, I've gotten good exam marks by doing the following. Relistening to every single lecture, because mine are recorded for the folks who can't make it, and take notes. I also attend the actual lectures, so nothing is new to me. While listening to the recording, I will pause it and read each corresponding topic in the textbook. After listening to each lecture, I then explain everything I've learned to my partner, who doesn't necessarily have to be listening. This method is what I swear by, but it assumes that a, lectures are recorded, and b, exams are based on lecture content. That sounds extremely effective, I'm going to try it. I, if you need to memorize learn something, always try to do questions on it or write it out rather than just reading or speaking. Personally, it's been a much more effective method of getting through school. 2. Keep all of your distractions away, by whatever means, your phone, laptop, pretty much anything that will take away your focus shouldn't be with you when you want to study. 3. Take regular breaks, if you keep trying to bash through your work without enough sleep, food or rest, you're gonna come out for the worst in the end. There's plenty of tips I've learned from years of school and also from teaching, and these are just a few. They might not work for everyone, but I've found they generally improve your results and your concentration understanding of the topic. 
As a lecturer, these little tips are all okay but you need a freaking strategy if you're going to differentiate yourself from the crowd. Not pee little study hacks. The best long term habit is to be a source hound. Search the literature after each lecture for relevant journal articles, news articles, conference proceedings and select a few to hear based on the abstract. Do this for each lecture and you'll have a frick ton of extra knowledge to splurge over your professor's variety starved brain. When I'm marking and encounter someone who has put some effort in and come up with some original sources it makes me wiggle like a little puppy. Trigger the wiggle and even if you make points I don't necessarily agree with you will earn marks for those extra sources. Now for the little piece study hacks. When I was an undergrad I always found the campus library to be one of the best places to revise. You're in a quiet environment with the possibility of having some friends around to talk to during study breaks and, hopefully, there's books relevant to your course at hand. Revising in groups can be fun but some people take it to the extreme to the extent there is little or no difference between their exam manuscripts. We mark for individual thought, particularly on exam papers where we've given the questions out before the exam. Not what you and your mates have decided is the best way to answer a question. Surround yourself with academic nerds. I joined the honors program at my university with grades that barely made it in. But they put me in the honors dorm. With access to the honors lounge and I had to take a number of honors specific classes. I spent a lot of time around kids who were driven and determined to do well. My best friend became a, non-honors, mechanical engineer major who is ridiculously passionate about his major. Seeing him so excited to spend the whole weekend studying about physics made me really reorganize my priorities. I ended up in switching from business management to bio pre-med. I'm still just halfway through, but I'm making as and I'm having a blast in my classes. I could have very easily turned into a crazy party girl with no direction, but surrounding myself with people who had a love of learning was the best thing I ever did. If you need to take a quick nap, don't use your bed. That backstabbing ass doesn't know the meaning of a quick nap. Plus, when I wake up in my bed, it's easy to justify just staying in bed whatever. I'll just fail. It's not a big test. Having energy will be more important than having knowledge. I'll finish in the morning, etc. But if I wake up on my keyboard or book, feeling disgusting, it's easier to be all. Keep going, you freak. PFFFT. That's how I study for my exams. I take a 5 minute nap that lasts 30 minutes, with my pencil and notebook imprinted on my face. Once, I woke up from a page of notes with my face imprint. Keep going, you freak indeed. I love index cards for studying. Writing them by hand is a pain, but really helps me determine what I do and do not know. As for studying and memorization, I hear a lecture, I type up class notes, I read those notes, and then copy them onto index cards. Assuming I go through the cards a few times in the days before an exam, I've had a ton of repetition and I'm ready to go. Quizlet.com allows you to create your own flash cards, which can be printed. Helpful if you like making notocards but don't feel like you benefit from actually writing them out. Use flashcards when you can. Write them down so you have something as a reference and check them as much as you can. A good way to do that is Anki, Anki's Net, which is available on every OS, Linux, Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Java, Web Client etc. and has some very nice features. Oh, and it's open source too. Seconding this, Anki is what prepared me fully for my exams this year, came here to post that. When my father sent me back to school because we had some issues with his company and this douchebag that was next in line to become the CEO, I needed to finish some stuff up to be qualified to take the spot. I had to endure some major cram sessions to get up to snuff. So what I would do is have my girlfriend sit and quiz me and when I got an answer right, she would remove an article of clothing. This seems like a really short study session. You only get a handful of questions before you get a handful of something else. If you are ever stressed about having a test, or have headaches during a cram, go out for a walk with a friend or a family member, have a talk with them about your test and stress, then come back for some snacks, you will feel much better. Sometimes, you need to study first to get yourself into the mood to study. When you come across an obstacle, go take a break. Then come back to it. You will procrastinate less and when you take the break in between studies, 
You might even figure out the problem then. Open up a window and eat some ice cream when you are study. This will calm you down and you will be more focused. Don't ever, ever cram for a test. If you had to choose over getting your 8 hours of sleep and memorizing more stuff on the day before the exam, pick sleep. Talking to your fellow classmates about the exam will help you calm down. You will feel less nervous stress knowing that your classmates are having trouble too. It's even better to solve these problems with your classmates. It's faster with more people and you make friends along the way. Bring some snacks to a lecture. Sweets can help you focus on the professor. I disagree. If you have really good memory abilities, an all-nighter can be really useful. It saved my butt nearly every year and most of the time I have much better grades in courses I studied for 2 days, 21 hours a day than courses I work for the whole semester. Go figure. Take notes during lectures and while doing readings, and afterwards, summarize what you've learned in your own words. Pretend that you're trying to explain the subject matter to someone who isn't familiar with it. Articulating the subject matter will not only help you retain it better, but will also help you make connections and see it more deeply. <laughs> Write out your notes, don't type or just print out the slides. I'm not too sure about everyone else, but I tend to remember things when I write them down. Also, I like to help other friends study. When you explain concepts to other people to help them understand it, it really shows that you know what you're talking about. You gotta know the information in order to teach it to someone else. And whatever you both don't know, you look up together and study that. You'll start to separate what you do know and what you don't know very quickly. Teaching others always really helps me a lot. Oftentimes, you have to really simplify concepts for someone that doesn't get it to- Well get it. Once you do that, it's simpler for you as well. I second the suggestion to explain things to your friends. It's a really good way to remember things, because once you have explained it a few times, you'll never forget it. Also, your friends might be able to help you in some subjects where you might be the one needing the explanation, so it all works great. The quietest most remote corner of the library, preferably in the basement where I don't get cell phone reception. I don't always study in the library, but when I do you know crap is about to get real. One hour of studying with 10 minute breaks, work the best for me. Also going to the gym or doing some exercise after a couple hours is a huge help. Try reviewing the material right after class when it's still fresh in your memory, rather than days later when you've already forgotten everything you heard in lecture and have to start all over. This has helped me a ton. If you start studying a few hours per day a week before the exam in question you can't avoid trying to pull all nighters. Your brain doesn't work for crap if you're trying to fight off sleep. You're more easily distracted your mind wanders and much less material sinks in. It's like chasing the horizon in a solar powered car at dusk. I know this is going to get buried, but here's the study technique that I found works best for me. Guarantees me 90 plus marks on exams, and a few friends. The trick is to never study at night. Save it for early mornings. What I do is go to bed early and get up at a ridiculous hour like 4am, making sure I get a minutes of 7 hours sleep. I make breakfast and tea coffee and just sit down and start studying. You would be amazed at how much your brain takes in first thing in the morning. My friends and I have named this the magic hour. Just read over your notes and write out a study sheet at the same time, by hand. Typing is too fast. You'll find that you retain almost 80-90% of what you studied the first time. I think the reason this works is because at the end of the day your brain is just too exhausted and filled with information that needs to be processed when you sleep. When you wake up, all of this information is processed and your brain is ready for more. I think it's worth mentioning that I also pair this technique with quizzing via cue cards I make on my computer. Just google cue card program. There's a free one to download from CNET, and that it's only good for memorizing. You'll still just need solid hours of practice for math, organic chem, physics, etc. To add some, to add credence to this, I used this in my third and fourth years on University Biology W. Chen Minor. Lots of memory work, and was easily able to get mid to high high 80s, low 90s in all my courses. Don't procrastinate. You'll be surprised how much more you retain if you do a small amount each day over an extended period. I'm not sure it's that simple. Read, write, 
and speak the most important facts information you need to remember. Repeat this as many times as necessary so you retain the information. My biggest bit of advice would be to use color and associate things. You have to find something that works for you though. Flashcards work for some people but I find them unhelpful. My biggest thing was breaking down information into a phrase, acronym or word and create a mind map out of it. One topic would be one color, and I'd move down the mind map from most important, big stem, to least important, tiny stem on the end. The more things you associate to a concept, the better chance I have of remembering it. Music, pictures, color, etc. I also found that doing activities help, so mock exams, or filling and drawings, etc. Because I get to see what I do know and what I do not. Then I can concentrate on my weaknesses and leave the rest to skimming since I know the concept well enough. Exercise. If you're stressed, go for a run, or pilates. Or whatever it is that is going to help you. But get out of the house. Away from the textbooks. A shower works pretty well as well. Make a schedule. Or break your study down. Trying to cram isn't really all that effective for most people. Even if I like to think it is. Do one chapter topic. Test yourself. Study. Whatever. And then take a break. But don't do multiple things whilst in that hour. You're losing effectiveness. And you're going to get distracted. Yes, I do it. One link which leads to another, and another, and another, and that bookmark, and then the online shopping and then I read a sentence. Last note, generally long term review is best for studying. Read over your notes after class before bed. Jot down things you're confused by. Get them cleared up. Easier to get one topic cleared up a week, than ten at the end. Write summaries over what you're studying. It makes it a lot easier to get an overview on what to know and you're forced to read the entire material. Also, don't and I mean don't sit close to a computer. You'll just sooner or later get distracted. I work on projects papers at least a month before the due date. I am not the type that likes to stress out at the very end so I put myself in a position to stress out early. It also helps me relax on my last few weeks of the semester. This may be more applicable for a course like mine where you are expected to learn the translation for thousand lines of Latin and ancient Greek texts essentially word for word. But I found making a recording of myself reading them out loud was a very useful way of getting myself to remember them. This is a really useful thing to do, because not only is reading your notes out loud better than reading them silently, you can listen to your notes whilst doing other things, and slowly get them stuck in your head. For example, I put them on my phone and could listen to them walking around my university, or whilst on Reddit. Combine this with some normal revision, and I was actually able to learn all my translations perfectly, which given my normal state of having a memory a goldfish would be embarrassed by. I think this is quite a success. Pretend you are allowed to take a cheat sheet into the exam. A4. Double sided. Handwritten. I've had to do this for two exams. One I could type, so I did, and I barely looked at the sheet for the one I handwrote. It's a good way to memorize course content. Practice lots of past exam papers if you can get hold of them. They give you an insight to the style of exam and what to expect when you actually take the test. Also I like to listen to classical when I study. Whispering's piano radio on iTunes is pretty good for that. Use your spare moments. I wrote my notes on index cards and carried stacks with me everywhere. You never know when you'll end up waiting for something and can pull out an index card. Doctor office. Subway line etc. Also, I tended to copy pages of difficult material and tape them to my bathroom wall. You're in there quite a lot. It took me too many years in college to realize that if I just show up to class every day, pretty much the worst I can do is a B. A few things that helped get me through. If you have a decent grasp of the material but you are having trouble remembering it, find someone in your class, preferably, and teach it to them. Study groups are awesome for this. Teaching forces you to think about material from various perspectives and work through it progressively. By the time the test rolls around, you will know the material backward and forward. The best way to learn new material is to take a practice test to see exactly what you don't know. Go through the test and record the questions that you could not figure out. Then, go through it again with your notes and a book and work through each question. 
take another test, and repeat this process. It's a very simple way of keeping track of your progress, and it can be very satisfying to see proof of improvement. If you take terrible notes, I did. Find a friend in the class who doesn't and study with him her. My grades improved dramatically in my junior and senior year when I met a friend who had trouble with the material but took amazing notes. He was more than happy to let me use his notes to learn, then teach him the material. Also worked well with my first point above. The vast majority of your teachers, believe it or not, actually want you to pass, and will provide you with the means to do so. Visiting teachers after class with questions is a great way to both get answers and prove to them that you want to do well. Trust me, a professor learning your name, for the right reasons, is a good thing. Do not completely suppress the adrenaline that comes along with stress before a test. There is a fine line between panic and focus. Learn to master it. Anticipation and nervousness can work in your favor by keeping your body and mind alert. Maintain that line and make it work for you. Focus that energy and use it well. Any clutch athlete will tell you the same. As a grad student that also teaches a few classes, I feel as if I have finally mastered the art of exam taking. Too bad I am now course complete. Here are some tips anyway. 1. Put on some type of music with headphones to block out your external environment. Try and listen to something that is instrumental, no words, and that you don't know. This way you don't have interference with what you are studying. 2. Outline the chapter in the textbook, and then make flashcards from your outline. Reading the chapter in and of itself will help everything form a clear picture, but writing it down in outline form will help you retain it. And then flashcards from your outline will help you realize the important points of the chapter and further memorize. 3. Try and actually understand the material. If you simply memorize you are more likely to forget. If you understand it, and can see the big picture and how everything fits together, you are more likely to remember. 4. Start studying a few days before the exam. Not 2 weeks, but 3-4 days. Start small, maybe 30 minutes the first night, an hour the second, 2 hours the third, and then all night cramming the day before. This way your successive study sessions become a bit easier, and your brain can encode some things before it has to encode and retain everything. 5. Try and figure out what the main points are from what you are studying and what questions the professor teacher will come up with, and then try to answer those questions. Focus on that, but don't overdo it in case you are wrong. This will once again help you to see the big picture. 6. Figure out what the professor teacher is looking for. My professor for neuroanatomy required a full out information dump and verbal diarrhea all over the page. But my cognition and learning professor would say sins of commission are worse than sins of omission. 7. If you do not understand something, define IT. Get definitions for all of your terms first. If you don't know what it means, you can't learn it properly. 8. A little bit of cardio beforehand exercises the body as well as the brain. It will reduce stress levels while studying. 9. Wikipedia is your friend. In all seriousness, the content on Wikipedia has grown enormously in the past few years and provides excellent summaries on many topics. 10. Drink lots of water and eat a piece of fruit. Don't eat something like chips where you have to constantly reach out and grab the food. It's distracting. Eat something quick and nutritious. 11. Sleep. The brain encodes memory best during sleep. You need it. Don't ignore it. Also, you are more likely to make mistakes on test day if you are sleep deprived. Hope this helps. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.